Let's begin solving some of the important questions from the previous papers for your net psychology, the June examination. The first question is a very important question in light of the recent recession. So what happens during the recession period? When a company feels that company is no more taking a good stand, the company would recruit one of its female members to the board of directors or the highest position and let the company fail. Now, in this case, the company would at least get a reputation of putting in a female member of the society and therefore have its value preserved. And the second thing is, then the company could be taken over by the male member of the society and the recovery or the losses could be recovered. Now this is what is called as a glass cliff effect and women are likely to gain more number of valued positions during the time of crisis or during the time of recession. They are raised to better off positions, right? Glass ceiling is simply a barrier where women are not allowed to advance into their careers. But glass cliff is when they are artificially promoted to a position where the, the one who is promoting them knows that they would be soon falling down. The next is Bhagavad Gita has 18 adhyay or chapters named after some form of yoga. Which of the following is not correct? So Dhyan Yoga talks about meditation and that is the part of Bhagavad Gita that is correct. The Akshar Brahma Yoga uh, talks about the indestructible Brahma that exists within and is again part of the 18 adhyayas of Bhagavad Gita. Purushottam Yoga talks about the ones uh, idea of uh, having a supreme divine personality which is known as the Purushottam and this is again part of one uh, of the Adhyay of Bhagavad Gita. However, Jagrat Yoga is not the part of the Adhyay. So here four is the incorrect option. The next is formula used to estimate how many homogeneous tests should be added to a test to raise its reliability is called as KR20. So KR20 is a formula where you increase the number of homogeneous tests and the idea is to with increasing the number of similar test questions the reliability of the test increases. However, Spearman Brown is used to increase the length of the test. Clear? Richard Curtison is meant to increase the number of um, uh, number of items that are added and that is through adding the homogeneous item so increasing the number of homogeneous item pierman product correlation as the name suggests it is product moment correlation so it increases the internal consistency and gr gives in more strength and uh, direction to the problem. So those are some of the important things that you must be familiar with when we are talking about questions related to reliability. Now types of reliability, the methods which are used for assessing the reliability have been discussed in detail in our lectures. So you can simply go back and understand that. Now self-determination theory of Daisy and Ryan is a very basic theory which talks about the well-being where competence Relatedness and autonomy are the three components which are discussed. Relatedness or also called as connection. So competence, relatedness or connection and autonomy are the three important aspects which are discussed under the self-determination theory of DC and Ryan. The next is two statements are given. You have to find out. The first statement says to eliminate the impact of any external independent variable, the researcher can choose uh, participants who are homogeneous on the independent variable that is very very correct because if I am trying to remove the impact of any external or extraneous variable independent variable I can make my items more homogeneous and that way this would become easier right the next is matching is one of the methods to control extraneous variation that's again correct but this does not explain why I'm trying to bring in homogeneous items, right? So both of them are correct, but the reason does not explain the assertion correctly, as simple as that. The last question is the sequence as per the development model of counseling is, first you identify the blind spots. Blind spots are the areas uh, in a person's life or the steps or the circumstances in one's life, clear? 
Once you identify the blind spots, what would be done? You would develop the possibilities. Brainstorm whether the possibilities you have discussed is correct or not. And finally, use a force field analysis. Now, force field analysis help you to actually compare the advantages as well as the disadvantages. So bring in a proper relation between the advantages and disadvantages and help the things figure out is what would be covered under the per development model of counseling so those are some of the important uh, steps under a development model the last question is a very interesting question and this talks about terror management now terror management talks about the inevitability of death so efforts to cope with the knowledge that we will die is what is called as terror management a very very important concept so usually death anxieties drive people to protect their self esteem in the world and this is an example or a step where uh, ideas are given or efforts are done to protect or uh, to cope with the knowledge that we would die and this is what is called as terror management so people usually insulate themselves from the deep fear of uh, living in an in a situation where they would be erased by death so that is a basic idea under this concept now availability heuristics we have already said that it actually talks about a step-by-step -step, uh, planning or a shortcut with which you can bring in a sequential model planning fallacy means where you are trying to have uh, something as your goal but you do not have the right strategy to adapt in order to reach the goal that you are trying to uh, think about so those are some of the important things that we have discussed and as we mentioned before uh, the complete solutions for your UGC psychology papers including the 2023 paper are available at the link below thanks for joining in today have a wonderful evening